Hello everyone, my name is Beckett, welcome to the channel, hope you guys are having a great day. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Chatterbox blueprints so you can craft that amazing exotic SMG and put it on that new Hunter's Fury build. For those older players, you guys might already have this, but for those newer players, and I, I didn't even know where to get this or how to get this, but I guess I had a couple of the mods sitting in my inventory already, so I could have started making it, but but I didn't know nothing about it. I've seen people use it. I've seen videos about it, but I've never actually tried to get it. It was always on my list. So I decided to get this and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. And it's actually not that bad and we can get it fairly quickly. So let's get into this. But before we get started, if you like the content, if you like the video, sub, hit that like. I really appreciate it. We're growing very fast, um, very glad moving into a more of a division two focused channel. So stick along for the ride and let's get into this video. Now, before we get on our journey, let's take a look at this weapon and see what kind of stats it's packing. And is it worth it for you to go and get it? If you're a collector, yes. But if you're just an average player and you're not a big SMG fan, we shall find out. So right out of the gate, you can see my roll is fairly decent. I still want to reroll this and try to get a God roll, but I'm not gonna <laughs> start right now. So it comes with 15 SMG, 20 critical hit chance for the attributes, and it can get up to 10% critical hit damage. And the talent is incessant chatter. When you reload, rate of fire is increased by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters for the duration of that magazine, max stack five. So you can get 100% rate of fire if you have five people around us. And with this new Hunter's Fury build, it's going to come in great because we're always going to be within 15 meters, ideally, unless we're like doing something crazy and legendary or we're just pinned down and we can't move. But generally, we're always going to be in 15 meters. So that's going to be great. So if we have four or five enemies, our RPM is going to be 1400 RPM. That, that's two 200 faster than the vector so you imagine how fast these bullets and it starts getting crazy when you start when you start have multiple enemies around you and including with that hunter fury site you have all that extra smg damage and when we get a kill we refill 50 percent of our magazine so if we're getting kills we're pretty much never running out it's it's an infinity pretty much magazine as long as we can get those kills and even if we don't get a kill we reload we have that crazy rate of fire, so we're going to get a kill no matter what. So usually I, I would see myself getting three to four kills, and then I'd get a reload, and then three or four more kills. And generally, that's about how it felt like it was going on. Now, it's got some stuff packing inside it, too. Oops. Yeah, might as well equip it. So we're going to go with the mod. So it comes right out of the gate. 15 critical hit chance on the scope. Barrel, 5% critical hit damage and 10 extra rounds, which is helpful, and the 10 weapon handling. Uh, that's okay, but all that packing, we really don't have to stack that much critical hit chance into our builds when we build, is quite amazing. So let's get into the steps and where we gotta head first. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do to craft this weapon is we gotta go open a lot of hyena caches. So we're gonna need keys. So if you do not have any keys, you can always go to the underground throughout the open world. You don't have to go to the dark zone. And then you just open up these little key boxes in the underground and you'll, you'll find a lot of keys pretty quick. But I would do is check your inventory. And a lot of times you already have the mods because I ended up having all the mods to craft this weapon re really quickly. Like when I started doing it, I realized I already had two. The drop rate is pretty high. I had two of three. And then when I went to look for the very last piece, I opened one, I didn't get it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a long time. I had 19 keys, so I was like, oh, I'll be okay. So I went to the second one and I, and I got it right away. So I think the drop rate is pretty high. When I was researching it, it, it said you had to open a lot, but they probably nerfed it over time since this weapon has been out quite a while. So the three pieces we need is the SMG loaded canister, and this drops in the downtown east area, any, any cash any cash in the downtown east area that means even if it's in a mission you can open it and you'll get the weapon piece and then the second piece is going to be in the federal triangle and just like just same thing you can open any cash i'm going to leave maps up on the screen so you guys can see where they all are 
And the third one is the Creative Magazine in the Federal Triangle. Like I said, these are fairly easy to get now. So it's not really a problem and everything you can do, you can really do solo. You can do it on hard or challenging. The difficulty doesn't matter as far as I'm aware. I completed everything on challenging. So it shouldn't be an issue for you. So now that we got all those pieces, we need to find the, the missing blueprint. Now the missing blueprint is located in the bank headquarters mission. So you're gonna have to go over there and you can just replay it on. I replayed it on challenging. I'm pretty sure it'll work hard. I did solo so you don't have to worry about any anybody messing with me or anything. And we're gonna have to get a key for the vault. So the key is right after we kill, I believe her name is Rebound. She's the first boss in there. And then right after there, we're going to head into a room and it, it will say like boss's room right above right above the door. It, it's it's really hard to miss. It'll just say <laughs> boss room, boss only. And you can see it right there. And we're just going to walk into our left and there'll be a map and two lamps. And we're going to walk over towards the wall. And you can't see it yet, but when you get close, it will say like open panel or something like that. And once we open that, we'll get the RFID key. You might have seen this drop before or open this before to get the cache where the, the hyena cache is in the vault because that's exactly where we're going to get the missing blueprint. Once we, once we get that, we can just run through until we get to the vault. One thing I want to mention, guys, if you guys already did bank headquarters today, the mission, and opened up that cache, or were in a group that opened up that cache, you're not going to be able to get the blueprint, and you're going to have to wait till the next day, or at least 1 a.m. when the servers reset. It sucks. I learned the hard way. I already ran that earlier today. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go get the chatterbox. You know, I, I, I want to try and build a Hunter's Fury build around this. No. I had to wait till the next next morning. It was kind of sad and I, I lost all my steam. So make sure you haven't done it before. If you have, just wait till the next day. Don't waste any time. And so as soon as we get into the vault, we're we're it's gonna we're gonna open the vault. It's a big bank vault door. It looks it's hard to miss. And you're gonna turn directly to your left and you'll see a little key card thing next to the door, and you'll be able to open it, and then there'll be a hyena cache there. Open up the hyena cache and you should get the missing blueprint. Now that we got the missing blueprint, we can probably just leave. I tried leaving when I did it by myself, but it made me finish the whole mission. The mission is practically already over. So just go ahead and wrap it up and then you can head back to your base of operations and you just go down to your SMG under the crafting table. You craft it, you got it. If it's a bad roll, Hopefully you have extra exotic components and you can just re-roll until you get the desired effect. But now you got it. Now you can go run that chatterbox however you want, wherever you want. Have a great day. I hope this guide helped. If it did, leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.